welcome back to Walmart Wednesday. Your girl is a little off kilter today, but we have some great things to go over today. I just got back from New York City. Yes, if you saw my video on Monday, you already know that Walmart invited me to an intimate dinner with Brandon Maxwell. You guys, I freaked. I was okay. I maintained my composure, had a cocktail, calmed down. If you guys saw me getting ready, you saw that I had a ton of nervous energy. It was so exciting and it was everything I dreamed it would be. So if you have not seen that video, go back to Monday's video and watch it. It was great. It's a different type of video. It was all about my trip to New York City and the dinner that Walmart sponsored. It was Walmart, LTK, and Scoop. I got a fall preview for 2023, so go watch that. All right, you guys, I am wearing, let's see, let's do jewelry first. Wearing my one of my hammered rings from my hammered trio, my stretchy gold bangles, love these. You guys know in the summer, I love these gold filigree earrings, and I'm wearing my Queen Elizabeth gold coin necklace, and this one is from Amazon. And on top, I'm just wearing the cami that's got built-in padding. It's press. I showed it to you recently. Express is having all kinds of sales, so I'll make sure to link it for you. And then I grabbed a blazer, but I don't know. Okay, let's start with the blazer and then we'll take it off because I get hot. <laughs> this is my favorite blazer, you guys. I have really nice structured blazers, but I just love this one in the summer. It's light and airy. It's by Shein and I can link it for you. And then I thought I'd grab my Louis Vuitton dupe tote bag from Walmart. To show off, all that to say, I'm wearing black shorts, you guys. These are by Men NYC. I did size up to a nine in these. Men NYC is a junior's brand. And so sometimes they run small, sometimes they don't. In this case, I'm glad I sized up. You guys, okay, I don't like short shorts, but I'm really loving these because if you can see, let me come up closer. I'm gonna lower this a bit and just back up for you guys. If you can see right here, they have lace at the bottom. So it sort of extends the shorter short and makes me happy. <laughs> All right, come on back up. I am going to give you a full view over here. Let me know what you guys think. I lowered my, I have recessed lighting on my ceiling and I lowered it because I noticed in my recent videos that the whole room looked so whitewashed, washed out. Um, so I thought I'd try this. And, you know, I always shut the curtains, but let me know what you guys think. Anyway, here's the full look. You guys know I love the look of shorts with a blazer. I feel like it makes it a little more sophisticated. Look how cute the back looks with the lace hanging out at the bottom. I just love that. Yes, I'm wearing my clear strap studded sandals. It's the end of the season as far as sandals go, you guys. I have shown you several pairs by Dream Pairs. In fact, I may show you um, a repeat pair today by Dream Pairs but they're not coming out with any new sandals right now at Walmart, so I don't mind, because you guys know I love my clear strap studded sandals. Let me show them to you up close. Oh, you wanted to see them? Okay, sure. You guys are like, Liz, we saw them a hundred times. Okay, here they are. Love them. Wear them all the time. I did not wear them in New York. I even cracked a joke about them. All right, so I'm gonna take the blazer off. And by the way, you guys, this is so awesome. By Walmart, it looks just like a Louis Vuitton tote, but a quarter or probably an eighth of the cost. All right, so here's the shorts by themselves. I did not self-tan, you guys. I was so self-tanned in New York City that I came home and I scrubbed it all off. <laughs> it was just one of those things. It was getting patchy. I was showering a lot. That's what happens. Here's the back. i give you a full view. I love them, you guys. I really do. I'm not a huge shorts person, but these I think are really cute. Now I did an all black look to give it a little more drama. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys say. All right, I have so much to show you. Sure, what's up next? I have the cutest earrings by No Boundaries. Hopefully I get to wear them with an outfit. If not, I'm just gonna hold them up and show you because they're so cute. I want you guys to run again. All right, you guys, I'm back. Yes, I'm adjusting. That's what I do. All right, I'm so excited. I just made a reel over on Instagram. If you're not following me over there, it's at Life and Style by Liz. Or if you're on TikTok, I'm also Life and Style by Liz over there. And if you're already subscribed on YouTube, you should get notices that I post shorts, which are like reels and TikToks, and those just pop up on YouTube. All right, you guys, check out these earrings. I cannot even take it. They are the cutest thing. So remember, I was just telling you guys that I have some earrings and if I can't find a way to wear them, I was just gonna hold them up. Well, I'm wearing these 
because I love them. They're by no boundaries. How gorgeous are these? So last week I featured some Be Betsy Johnson and you know she's very whimsical and I had on a strawberry dress and a peach or orange blossom dress and now I have these cherries but these are by no boundaries but they definitely are a little bit of a nod to Betsy Johnson so had to bring that up but how cute are these you guys? Loving them. Okay do they have much to do with my outfit? Not really but they Add a little pop of something, I think. The rest of the jewelry stayed the same, except I took the hammered ring off and just added this one. This one comes from another trio. There are three trios of Target rings. We should have a quiz and then I should do a giveaway. <laughs> All right, and I grabbed my scoop bag. Someone's mowing the lawn. Listen, this is suburbia. There's always someone mowing the lawn. My husband knows better when I'm filming, but you know, the neighbors don't. That's just how it is. Anyway, you guys, this is my scoop. You guys know I was just in New York City, as I mentioned earlier, for a scoop fashion show. They really do have gorgeous pieces, you guys. Now, I wanna tell you that the black is sold out. Don't worry. I'm gonna insert a picture of a sort of an eggplant color or aubergine, and it's gorgeous. Fall is coming like it or not. I would grab it. It is like $24 or something like that. It's like marked down from 42, which was a great price to begin with. Um, it's made so well. Yes, there's stuffing in here, but I promise you I've used it a million times. I transfer the stuffing around depending on what bag I'm using. I have to, you guys. I don't have much room for all my stuff, but this is so cute. Wearing my tube top from Express. All kinds of sales going on at Express. I can't even tell you what they are because they change all the time. Now I zipped it myself. It could probably go up a little more, but what I love is this gold zipper, you guys. It's so pretty. And this is very secure, even though I'm pulling it up. It does have a rubber backing up at the top and it is fitted. You can see from the side that it comes in nice and tight and secure. I love it. All right, I'm gonna back up. I'm super excited. So um, again, if you watched my Monday video, I talked about cargo pants, jogger style twill pants, etc., being on trend for fall. You guys, these pants are going to be perfect for transitioning into fall from summer. So right now I could walk outside in 80 degree weather and be perfectly fine. I'm really building up the suspense, showing you my shoes quickly. I'm wearing my braided sandals by Time and True in black. And I love these. They're just so comfy, you guys. I wear them to work a ton. Okay, I'm going to back up and show you these pants. These are by Celebrity Pink, I believe. Well, I have the tag. I'm the worst. My memory is just not there is it celebrity pink they do consider them cargo pants now they don't have the traditional cargo like side pockets but those are trending as well but they have the vibe right and i'm wearing them in a size small i'm glad i got this small i think they fit me really well here's the back they're elastic they do have belt loops but the way i'm wearing them right now i wouldn't wear a belt with these they have these poles right here to tighten the waist and i wouldn't want to cover all of that up I think the belt loops are just kind of part of the cargo design. And then they have the poles at the bottom, which I love to make them tighter or looser, whatever it is that you prefer. And the reason why I love that, you guys, is because my calves are kind of thick. And I find sometimes that jogger style pants sometimes are too tight at the bottom. And what happens is when I sit down, they rise up and then they stick to that bigger part of my leg and then they stay there. Do you know what I'm talking about? So then they're like all cropped. They're not hanging straight like these are. So I love that about these. Again, here is the back of them. Wearing them in a size small. Celebrity Pink is a junior's brand. I do love their clothing. So I'm super excited, you guys. If I was going out tonight, I would wear these out. They are awesome. I love them for all my little tube tops, corset tops, all that kind of thing. I think they're so cute. We are going back to, do you guys remember the whole Gwen Stefani, no doubt era, when she would wear the big sort of cargo pants or even sometimes the Adidas pants with the stripes down the sides and then little shirts. That's currently the trend. All right, one last look. This is gonna be a great, again, transition outfit into fall. You can swap these sandals out for booties, put a blazer over this or wear a long sleeve bodysuit and you're all set to go right into fall. Can you tell I'm excited? I love these pants, love, love, love them. And stay tuned to next week. I ordered some more similar type things that are coming on trend for fall 2023. I saw so much in New York this weekend and I needed that. I needed a refresh. I was 
kind of, you know, in such a summer mode for so long. And you guys know, I'm going to continue to show you things you can wear now. But I am great at transition pieces. You know why? Because your girl dresses all season for the most part, all year round. Once in a while, you'll see me in a sweater, but very rarely, you guys know how I am if you've been here for a while. All right, let me stop talking and get to my next look. All right, I am back with my next look and I switched up some jewelry, so let's make sure we go over it and I don't forget. Wearing my large gold medallion necklace, you guys, is the weather cools, you want chunkier jewelry. It just kind of, I don't know, gives you that colder weather vibe. I know you guys are like, Liz, stop. I know, I know, but you know, it's August now. Anyways, these are my gold U-shaped earrings and I think the same over here. I did grab my Speedy Bag LV dupe. You guys, Walmart has so many dupes for LV, Louis Vuitton, and they're so easy to buy right online and they're affordable. And the reason I'm saying that is because they sell them in the streets of New York. Not easy to buy, overpriced and illegal. <laughs> anyway, check out this shirt, you guys. Where has this been hiding? Comment below if you guys have seen or own this. It's by Time and True. I got it in an extra small. It has a flutter sleeve that is trimmed. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the texture of it. I love that it's a flutter sleeve, but it's not those flyaway flutter sleeves. They're just not, I don't know, they don't look good on me. I do like them on other people, of course. It's a V-neck. It does have a chevron texture design. And then you guys look, it's a little peplum. It ties right here. This is a functional drawstring and it gives you that little blousey effect, which cinches in your waist, you guys. Very flattering. This green I'm currently obsessed with. Um, when we were in New York City, we went, as I mentioned, to Aritzia, and I saw this color a lot in there. It's not quite an army green, not quite an olive. I don't know, it's almost like a pea green. And I just think it's so super pretty and flattering. All right, so I'm gonna back up and show you the full look. And I have new jeans on. It's been a while since I showed you a pair of new jeans. So I thought I'd bring these to you. These are a mid-rise and they're not as skinny, they're straight. I know they kind of look like skinny on me. There's those thicker calves coming in handy, but I think they're adorable. They're so comfy, you guys. I'm wearing them in a size four. Look at, because they're low rise, they're like, I'm showing you my underwear right now, but they, there's just so much room you can pull them down. So they do run pretty big. Um, like I said, plenty of room. Here's the booty. I think she did a good job as per usual. Thank you, Sophia. And I'm loving this entire look. Again, throw a long cardigan over this. Let me grab one to show you how you can transition this into fall. I'm just like on a roll right now. Just let me do it. I'll be right back. Okay. I had to do this. I just grabbed whatever I saw. Now I could have grabbed, um, a longer one or a different one. This is sort of a kimono style. By the way, I have on Monday coming up, a Grace Karen haul, and I'm featuring a ton of cardigans. And the reason being is those are gonna be your best friends when you're transitioning from summer to fall. And even right now for nighttime, if you feel the need. So let me just back up and show you. So this suddenly transformed into a really cute fall outfit. Put a pair of mules on. I'm gonna talk about these shoes in a second. And you will be all set. When I say mules, the pointy toe, like your toes aren't hanging out, or the cute booties that they have where your toes do hang out, but they're kind of for fall. You guys know what to do, right? And we'll go over that as it gets closer. But just quickly, I thought I'd throw this cardigan on. By the way, this is Grace Karen. I love this one. It's kimono style. I think I have it coming in another color as well for that haul. It's one of my faves. It's so comfy. And I always just, you know, drape it over my shoulder, carry it in a ball. I could shove it in my purse. It doesn't wrinkle and it's great for those cool summer nights. All right, let's go over. There's a tag bugging me by my neck here. These shoes, now these are my own. However, there is a very similar pair over at Target that I hope they still have inventory on. I will let you know on the screen here because I have to do a little bit of research. But I love the fact that they're not really new. They're sort of like a beige, beige nude. And it just goes very well with this whole earth tone look that I'm showing you right here. I'm getting excited. I put this together and I'm in love. Okay, everything of course is always linked below in the description box. If you have any questions, always comment and ask me. I try to answer each and every comment because I really appreciate all the interaction and I love the little community we have here. All right, I have two more looks I believe, I think. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back with my next look and yes, I am showing you another Express shirt. 
This one you guys have not seen before. It's new, but I love it because I do believe that this will transition into fall as well. What am I trying to do with these straps? I want to show that there are two on each side. I love the O-ring and it's sort of cropped but blousey. So you are, you know, feeling more covered. It's not tight, cropped, the whole thing. I just think it's really cute. The color I would describe as like a brown with again, almost that eggplantish color in it as well. Wearing my Geo Circle, gold Geo Circle earrings, everything else has stayed the same. Oh, I did add my uh, gold initial necklace that comes with two necklaces, but I always wear one. It's from Amazon and I will link it for you. Check out these jeans, you guys. I have not checked inventory. Let's all hope they are still there. They were marked down there by Sofia Vergara. You guys know my favorite jeans by her are the Melissa Flair jeans. These are the Melissa Flair jeans as well. There are so many variations, but these are the pull-on jeans, you guys. Do you see how there's elastic in the waist? I just pull them on. There's no zipper, no buttons, no belt, nothing. Just pull them on. They're nice and flat. There are not any pockets. They have that really cool, almost like 70s little seam on the side there, right before the gorgeous super flare at the bottom. I kept on the same shoes. So again, I'm gonna link those Target shoes that are similar or sandals. Here is the back. They are so comfy, you guys. Wearing them in, I'll have to check. When I list everything in the description, I always put my size in parentheses that I'm wearing. I feel like I sized up because I think I bought these way back when they first came out and they were like too hard to pull up and down. So I went up a size and now they're perfect, but it'll be in the description box. Cause now I don't remember. Are they small, medium, large, four, six, eight? I don't remember, but I'll make sure to put it down there for you guys. So this is the look. I love this. Again, Express is having a ton of sales. I've shown you three Express tops mixed in with today's Walmart haul, but they're things that I wanted you to see. So don't get mad at me. All right, you guys, I am going to come back with another outfit that is still available, still very summery. You've seen it before, but I want you to take advantage of the prices and how cute the outfit is. And then we're going to go over this lip combo. I'll be right back. All right, guys, back with my next look. You guys might remember having seen this before, but it was worth showing you again in case you're looking for something really cute that's in stock and super, super reasonably priced, you guys, or super, super affordable. But let's go over the jewelry. Yes, I grabbed these earrings. Okay, remember I said there were two pairs that I wanted to show you. Well, this is the second pair. The first was the cherries. Look at these, you guys, these little pink pastel hearts, you guys know. If I had seen these before my Barbie core video, I absolutely would have shown them. I think they're so darling. And again, they have a little bit of a Betsy Johnson feel. Let me know what you guys think. All right, everything else is the same. I did put on my No Boundaries peplum top. This is an old, not an old, but this is kind of like a dupe for a Free People design that came out last summer. And I just love this. It's padded for you, it's peplum. It covers everything, it's comfy, lightweight, it's gorgeous. I believe I'm wearing it in a small, but again, my sizes are always listed right next to the links down in the description box. And then I had to pull out the Jordache jeans, you guys. These are the straight leg Jordache in white. I showed them in just like a regular denim wash as well. Here is the back. They don't look see-through to me. I think they're great. They're a little thicker because they're denim, so they're not like wearing completely white pants. But I just love this look. And then I grabbed some pink shoes to match my earrings because, you know, why not, right? So I grabbed these because they kind of match, right? These are by Dream Pairs. You can get them on Amazon and I will make sure to link them for you. I love the square toe. The bottom is rubber, you guys. Will not have to worry about falling. And look how cool that stacked heel is. But it's like square, so it's sturdy. It's not the really pointy like stiletto heel that's difficult to walk in. So one last look at this outfit. Hopefully you guys like the pink heart earrings with the pink shoes. I don't know, I'm still on my pink kick. The Barbie core isn't gonna go anywhere anytime soon. But have you guys noticed since my video, I feel like it's everywhere. Not that I started the trend, I'm just saying. All right, let's go over this lip combo. Guess what I finally bought? You guys are gonna be proud of me. A new brandy wine. So when you get a brand new Wet n Wild lip liner, this is how big they are, you guys. They last forever. Again, I think it's like $5. I lined everywhere. I love this color. It's almost like a wine. 
It's so beautiful. Okay, outlined with that. Then I came in with Milani, another fave, the nude cream. Kind of pinky. Filled in. And then a little centered highlight. This is like the most affordable lip combo ever. I came in, remember these baby glasses by Revolution? They're available only at Walmart, I believe. Came in with that one in the color Sugar, just for the center. Look at that, you guys. Perfect highlight. Love, love, love these guys. They have several different colors. All right, you guys, that is it. If you stuck around with me to this point, please leave a heart down in the comments. I love getting the love from you and I'll make sure to give you a heart back. And if you did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and helps other people to find me. And if you've not already, please subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications. That way you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. I have lots of new videos coming. So really and truly, besides my, my ending that I have to say at every video, I don't have to, but I choose to, please make sure you are subscribed. I have so much coming up. You guys are going to be shocked. I hope you all have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye everyone.